Hello and welcome everyone. This is Doc Williams from Build With Me and today we're going to be talking about V1 versus Good Barber and Glide Apps. So let's just get right down to it. I don't want to waste your time. Which app do I like? Which ones don't I like? Honestly, after using V1 in its current iteration, I'm not a fan of it. I'm going to go into it in a few moments. Compared to Good Barber and Glide Apps, which have clear limitations, but they're for depending on what you need help with, I would go with those two apps. So let's first of all talk about V1 and all those things. So what what do I think about V1? I think that the team is very good and they have a very good vision. But right now, what I see about this is, is nothing more than a website wrapper. The reason I bring that up is it allows you to have different components of um, Airtable, uh, Shopify, all of those things. But nothing's native with it. You're adding components in it. So if I'm going to just be adding components, I might as well just build on those platforms and then go from there. And then if I want a separate app, I would use Good Barber instead of using something like V1. Now, let's go into what it can do and what it can't do. Okay, so if we look at it, you can try for free. But a couple of things that has a full Airtable integration. If I'm going to do Airtable as a database, I would use something like Pori.io instead, or just use other apps that have more capabilities. It says connect to Webflow, Shopify, or, e or WooCommerce. That's a $79 per month. If I want to create something, if I want to connect to Webflow, Shopify, or WooCommerce, I would just build on their platforms. I wouldn't then have this as a component to you know, make it an app. There's so many other different ways I would do it. So I, I just, I don't think it's worth it at $79 to connect all of those things. Now is it's talking about selling memberships. If I'm going to be selling memberships and I want it easily, personally, I would just use a different platform. I wouldn't use V1. So I think at this stage, it's not right for a lot of people. You would have to give me a very specific case study and show me where the benefits to scaling a project on this platform without just starting it with a more advanced platform like Glide Apps, Adalo, Good Barber, Build Fire, something like that, and not being on this platform right now. So when using this, it, there's some cool things, you know, uh, being able to, at one point I tried it out and you could be using Canva for images and everything like that for mockups. But if, if I'm using all of this for mockups, I would probably just use Sketch I wouldn't use this. And um, yeah, so, you know, in the comments down below, let me know more things. But just honestly, right now, I, you know, maybe if I if you want, I'll do a more detailed explanation. But I, I've, I've tried to use it during their hackathon. Uh, it was very limiting. If I'm going to use something like WooCommerce or Shopify, I'm just going to build a WordPress site with, Woo uh, with WooCommerce. And then I would just get a wrapper which is, allows me to make it a, 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 a essentially a PWA, right? A progressive web app. And then I would just pay for that and upload it onto the Google Play and Apple Store. And I wouldn't pay monthly for V1 to do it because that would, essentially that's all it would be. It would be a, you know, an app wrapper for that. So I just wouldn't do it. So if you have more questions, let me know. Now, why would I talk about Glide Apps or Good, uh, or Good Barber instead? Depending, again, this is depending on what you're trying to create with your app and everything like that. I would look at the uh, starting on the spectrum of something like Glide Apps because it's very easy to use and I, I can accomplish a lot with it. And it's, I'm already building the database because they're using Google Sheets in the back end as my database, right? And I like the user interface. I can do a lot with it. And again, if I'm and also, it depends on what I'm trying to do. Am I trying to go for VC funding and I'm trying to show off a mock-up? In that case, I would probably use Glide App or Sketch. I wouldn't use V1. So it depends on that. Or you're trying to make a business and scale it. I can also start with Glide App. For me personally, if I was going to try to scale something, maybe I would go with Adalo or something like that. That's just me. Now... An, an app creator that I really like, it's very simple, it's very rigid, you cannot do a lot of customization, but it is very, it, it provides a lot of structure, it's very easy to use. If you can build a website, you can build using Good Barber, and I think it's even easier to use than Adalo. I like Good Barber for a lot of instances. Uh, there's a couple different types of 
apps you can use. You can use ones for the classic app where you're building ones, you know, you can go through all the different ones, but also I want to show you the shopping app. And the reason I bring that up is they have been doing this for several years. So now their shopping app has a great experience. It's a really good response. And like we were talking about with V1, where you can add it with Shopify and all these other things. I, there's just so much more details that you can add with this. You can also do like, uh, um, was it Apple Pay? You can add a lot of other features that make it a lot easier when you're trying to sell and create an e-commerce experience online. Um, that I, I would just go with Good Barber. So again, what are you trying to create? What platform is great for you? It really depends on what platform I would use. But if I'm trying to decide, should I start on V1? I haven't seen enough of the capabilities or seen it in real play where I, I wouldn't want to use something else. It's a good concept. I do like the workflow and I like how they're, you know, the, the, the dashboard and how to start. It really does allow you to just plug and play. But the problem is it's just not, it doesn't give enough power. If I can do something like this on the side where I'm adding things to the workflow, I would just go with a dollar. And especially with that price point, if 79 to do any of the advanced, advanced things, it, it's, it's just not worth it to me. So if you have questions, please let me know. Uh, feel free to ask me any question down below about these platforms, other apps. I try to review as many no-code platforms as I can. Also too, if you find this helpful, please like and subscribe. I do a lot of reviews for on this channel and also i do a lot of business ideas based around no code so again thanks so much for watching i'll talk to you in the next video